Hello. Before we start this week's video, let me say a few words about the Tales of Kingsley website. I have received a number of emails from viewers who have been enjoying the interviews. However, even though I enjoy getting such emails, I would prefer it if people would leave me comments on the website itself so that others besides me may also enjoy your comments. Here is how you can leave comments. Look at one of our earlier websites. If you scroll down below the narrative, you'll see a comment that says add a comment. Once you do that, it opens up a dialog box. You type in your comment. Make sure you have a name down there as the commenter if you want to be recognized. Then you need to type in the image verification which you see on your left, which is YNX2MP in this particular case. Once you've entered that in, just go to the bottom of the box, select Add Comment, and close the window. Now if you look on the website, you'll see that your comment has been added, along with the date and time that you added it. Now why am I asking for comments? Because if residents or former residents of Kingsley visit the site and see positive comments, they might be more inclined to submit stories of their own. Also, a lot of these interviews were conducted by high school students at Kingsley Pearson. I'm hoping that some of them will see these comments and become more motivated to conduct even more interviews. Anyway, that concludes the begging portion of this video. This week's video is actually a Kingsley News Time story from the 60s submitted by Doug Brown. I'll be reading the article to you. Headline, Nash Post Legion Midgets Win State Championship. With a record of 19 wins and one loss for the season, the local midget baseball team, sponsored by the American Legion Nash Post No. 140 and coached by Harold Red Warner, took state championship honors at Walnut, Iowa, Tuesday evening, August 16th, when they defeated BB Town 4-3. They had advanced to the final round in the state tournament by defeating Tipton Sunday night, August 14th, by a score of 6-1. A large crowd of local fans attended both games, and after the win on Tuesday night, a phone call home alerted the town. The team was giving a rousing welcome when they arrived home shortly after midnight, and were escorted into town by the wailing sirens of the fire truck and the police car. The boys then gorged themselves to their heart's delight at Marge's Cafe, courtesy of the American Legion. The game Tuesday night was a tense affair for all concerned, as BB Town led 3-0 until the sixth inning. They had gotten one run in the second inning, and their pitcher, Jason, smashed out a home run in the third with one man on to give them a 3-0 lead. In the sixth inning, the first time all season that the local team had gone so far through a game without a hit, Bride left off with a hit, Dugan walked, Brown got a hit, and Nairn whacked out a triple to tie the score. March followed with a hit, which brought Nairn in for an extra run, which held throughout the remainder of the game. Joe March, pitcher, and Bob Nairn, catcher, was the battery for Kingsley. Joe got nine strikeouts for Kingsley. The battery for BB Town was O'Neill, catcher, and Jason, pitcher. Joe March also pitched for the game against Tipton Sunday, in which he got 17 strikeouts. Bob Nairn, who had injured a finger in a game last week, was replaced by Jim Gallus in the catcher spot. The local team now qualifies for the national tournament, if and when one is held. Arrangements were in the making Wednesday as the paper went to press. But with the opening of school so close, it is not known whether or not the boys could compete if a date was set. The community can be justly proud of the Nash Post Midgets baseball team, and the News Times joins in extending wholehearted congratulations to the players, the coaches, and to Nash Post. So, congratulations, guys.